Well, if Westwood needs inspiration to claim his first major, then he should look no further than the Ranola Golf Club on the outskirts of Buenos Aires, home to the now 90-year-old Roberto de Vicenzo. To win 230 tournaments, that is 230 weeks, that's pretty much a year just winning tournaments. And I've made good friends, I've built a good relationship with the public, I've built a good relationship with my opponents, and I've built a good relationship with my sponsors. And I've also been very lucky in life that I've held on to my health. I can still eat whatever I like, whenever I want. I still do that even though I'm 90 years old. My stomach does what it's told. The Argentinian had several near misses at majors before finally winning the 1967 Open Championship at Royal Liverpool, protecting a slender advantage throughout a tight final day to overcome defending champion Jack Nicholas and playing partner Gary Player. Gary Player, Gary Player said to me on the tee on the final hole, as we stood there before teeing off, he said, well done Roberto, congratulations. You've won. But there was still a hole to go. And the championship is over 72 holes. You need to win it over 72 holes, not 71. And you can lose it in just one hole. And I played that final hole with so much care and so much dread that my legs still shake when I think about it now. Di Vincenzo held himself together for a two-shot victory. He was 44 when he finally lifted the claret jug and remains the oldest winner of the championship. I was third three times, second twice, and first once. Nice maths. I remember when I finally won the Open, people really took to me. They applauded me in real style. And when I lifted the trophy, I said, I hope I'll be able to hold on to this next year, because you only got the trophy for the year after winning it. Di Vincenzo was able to celebrate in style, thanks to a bet he'd placed with a local bookmaker, which came up trumps and dwarfed his winnings. They were paying 70 to 1 and I was staying in the house of an English guy. He'd lived over here in Argentina before, and so he put me up in his house, which was very kind of him. And we put down 100 pounds between us and won 7,000 pounds, which was masses of money at the time. We partied, we invited people round, we laughed and enjoyed ourselves. We had an amazing night with all the members of the Hoylake Club, which is still remembered today. These days, Roberto spends much of his time back at Ranala, which recently named its course after him. He's the heart and soul of the club and remains extremely proud of everything he's achieved. Golf has given me many different things. It has promoted me in many different senses of that word. And I feel very proud to have achieved so much and for the friendships I made in nearly 40 years of playing in tournaments all around the world.